I'm joined with Nick Luckshaw from Mustang Energy. Nick, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Happy to be here. So Uranium had a pretty good uh, few years, but the recent, we'll say few months, haven't necessarily been the kindest to Uranium. What's your read on the market right now? My opinion, it's the pullback before the race. Uh, as you know, all the big guys are getting behind Uranium. We've got Google, we've got Amazon, we've got Bill Gates coming out saying we need to look to Canada for Uranium. Um, there's a lot of reactors under construction are being refurbished, more to come, and we need to be able to supply that demand. Did you think that uh the news with deep seek uh it sounds like you're you're you know you kind of view that more as a head fake yeah i'm not too worried um even if it is reality versus just say china posturing it's not going to change the fact that there's a huge need for electrical power in north america a growing need and uh, things like solar like hydro as great as they are they just don't produce enough, enough electricity and, and nuclear power is the way of the future Okay, so let's talk Mustang. What's the high-level overview? So, new company. We were listed uh, June 2024. Since then, we've a lot of, uh, made a lot of headway. We've acquired 77,000 hectares of property, uh, mostly in the Athabasca Basin. As you know, it's arguably the most uranium-rich region of the world. Um, we've got great people working on our projects. We've got Lindy Gilliam, uh, formerly of Axiom, Denison, some other big players. She's running our geological side. We are working with Axiom, with DeRouge, uh, Red Cloud, of course, and uh, that's a big feather in our cap, as I like to say, because they vet you before they let you in the door and join the family. Uh, and then last but not least, we recently did a deal with Sky Harbor Resources, and um, their CEO, Jordan Trimble, has come on as a strategic advisor. Okay, so uh, your properties, are they mostly exploration stage? Has there been historic drilling? Some have had some historic work, some are more greenfield. We benefit from having a good mix of both because um, obviously there's opportunity in developing greenfield further and then there's opportunity in, in further developed projects that will give you a, a faster route to um, significant drill targets. So we're currently going to uh, working all and uh, come summer we will sit back, look at our data, decide which targets we should prioritize and start drilling. What do the current exploration targets look like? Or, the, sorry, the current exploration plans, what do they look like? Uh, we're flying a couple surveys as we speak. We're waiting for some data to come back. We're doing a reinterpretation of existing data. And uh, once the weather becomes a little friendlier, we'll get a couple more crews out there uh, doing some more work. So we're, we're very, um, very pro uh, go, 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 as I like to say. Why wait? We've got money in the bank. We've got a good team working with us. So let's do absolutely everything we can to uh, make the most of our, our properties and uh, prove up as many targets to drill as possible. So a new uh, issuer, well, relatively new, um, uh, something that we always like to ask companies that have listed in the last couple of years is about the share structure. If I'm a retail investor and I uh, like the area that you guys are exploring and, I'm, and I like the story, how do I get comfort with the share structure? What can you tell us? Good question, one I like to answer. Um, so this started off being greatly funded by family, friends, close colleagues. Uh, we've got a handful of ultra net, uh, super, super, ultra high net worth individuals that uh, are our backers and um, are believers in the deal. So about half of the stock sits in the hands of a bunch of people that um, we know. We know personally, we communicate with regularly and uh, believe in the deal in the sector. All right, uh, so what's the, if, if, if I'm watching the story or I'm an investor in the story, what are the big goals for 2025? Maybe give me an idea of what three things you want to accomplish in 2025 that would move the company forward. So right now, as mentioned, we've got a phase one work plan underway. Um, I'd say that's number one because that's going to help us prove what we're going to drill. Number two would be the drilling itself. And then number three would be the results. So I keep an eye on those. That's all stuff that's, um, you know, underway in the early stages. And uh, I too look forward to seeing um, what kind of results we bring back. All right, well, Nick, thanks very much for hopping on here. I know our audience loves the uranium stories. So uh, hopefully we can chat in the future as you guys go out there and make that next uh, big discovery. Cool, thank you. Thank you for having me.